Well, let's break it down. I've got some goodies here. Joe Crew is me, Joku DMD, and I'm joined here by the ultimate judge of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game community, David Fashbinder. Can I say you that? got it. First yeah. try, too. Nice. Um, you've seen his name a million times on the DBS discussion group because he is the captain of the DBS discussion group. He is always on top of posting the links in the page so everybody can see what's new. And he's been getting a lot of questions lately about what is going on with these Mythic Booster cards. Are, do you get a foil in every pack? Is there one of these reprints in every pack? What's the deal with it going on? So we've joined forces here today to help explain what's going on with these cards. So David, you wanna take it away? Absolutely, and talk about it? thank you. Yeah. So Bandai was gracious enough to send me uh, the new gift box. That's going to be, uh, well, the deck box, I should say, that's going to be part of the gift box that's that releases. That's going to be the gift collection, right? So Correct. It comes with a deck box, and then what is it, like five So packs? it comes with a, uh, three or four packs of Mythic okay. Booster. Can't remember. The website's got the details. Yeah. This deck box, which is the UI Goku with the Dragon Balls and the Hopo Universe 7 SPR art on the inside. Um, and it also comes with really awesome... Uh, sleeves uh, yeah. from Bandai, which cool. has um, Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue together oh, on the sleeve. Nice, that's so awesome. It's going to be a great product, especially easy way um, for people to get the Mythic Booster who might not have an LGS around them because yeah. it's going to be at the, the big retailers and everything cool. like that. So, I like Target and... Uh, I'm not sure about Target, but I believe Walmart for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a great, great product. Um, so get to the cards yeah so the biggest questions i've been getting are because of the fact that cards have different rarities potentially in the mythic booster than they did when they were originally released right. so you know obviously promo cards never came in booster packs before right so they've been assigned common uncommon rare super right. rare we also have scrs we have all arts we have flat foils we've got non-foils so let's break it down. I've got some goodies here. Got two different packs that we can break down. So you got cards from all over. So we got Final Spirit Cannon, the Kefla promo, which now we're a very relevant reprint, right? Yeah. Uh, I saw a lot of people playing this guy on yeah. uh, their yellow decks this weekend, the Goku from a starter deck. Oh, here we go, a little Natron Shenron promo. Yeah. Um, Shocking Death Ball. Yeah, sparking the gates. Yeah, all the sparking the gates. A couple of the old Overrealm cards, which are great. A little long in the tooth, hard to get if you wanted them. Yep. And then, boom, check this out. Let's go with this guy first. You've got your new foil. Right. Never before available in foil in this art. Yep. Uh, the SS3 Gogeta and thwarting the Dark Empire. What's really cool about these foils is like they're somewhere in between uh, wave foil from the new set and the. Uh, um, the, the draft box. Draft box six. Six. Yep. They were super shiny. Mm -hmm. These aren't quite the super, super shiny, but they have a matte kind of mix with the shiny. Yep. It's a and different it's finish really nice on the cards and slightly different card stock. They look, I mean, the, we can it, always only show how good they look so much through a camera, but in person, these look absolutely stunning. Yep. They look awesome. It's a great opportunity um, for people to get access to cards that maybe they didn't have before. And you're going to get one of these in every pack. You're going to get one original art card that is slotted either as a rare or super rare in every pack with right. this foiling on it. Right. So those cards that are slotted as rares and super rares, this one, believe it or not, just a rare in the Mythic Booster. Oh, interesting. So they're basically categorizing the rarity of them per this set. Correct. So when Bandai posts the updates every day, if you actually read through to them to the bottom, they tell you what rarity the cards are in the booster. Very so cool. it is important to pay attention. Yep. Yeah. Um, this card going to be a rare. Um, so, you know, really great odds of pulling it out of a booster box, which is awesome. Uh, do want to call out that any card with the original art, even if it wasn't available foil before, will have the RE on the bottom for the, the reprint. Right. Um, know so, some, you know, for collector for money collectors money. that are worried, not not that there's a ton of money cards in this set, right. um, but for collectors, this will help. And, and I've even heard some people that want to chase the RE cards, you know, yeah, and add them to their collection. So, I mean, they definitely look better than these. 
Yep. <laughs> right. And um, and then in every pack you get one of those brand new sick alt art oil cards. So of course I had to bring the thwarting alt so art card sick, courtesy dude. of Bandai. So sick. You know, so you could see every card. These alt art cards only come in this super awesome hot stamped SR treatment. Yeah. You, it's and it's almost like. Uh, if we were comparing these, like if we were putting these on a spectrum of like SR to SPR, mm -hmm. they're kind of closer to the SPR end of the spectrum. No question. Yeah. There's a couple of them where the art's not as hot, um, but like the big cards especially, yeah. uh, they really went out of their way to yeah. make them pop. Yeah. And, and some cards that um, even had great art before, now they take it to a next level. You've all seen the Dimension Magic yeah. uh, that's on there, the Senzu Bean recreating yeah. that scene where, where Goku gives Cell a Senzu Bean, yeah. uh, the Mufuba Man. Uh, in retrospect, I wish I could have brought a Mufuba. I've seen it in person. That card is fire. It I is. Wanna, I don't want to spoil anything for my <laughs> channel, but I can confirm that it card is, is fire. It, it is a sexy card. And, <laughs> and the the last reprint they did with the foil from the the winter packs back in set six, that was pretty good too. But yeah. this one just takes it to a whole nother oh, level. Yeah, yeah. It's a really and and the thing that I like, you know, uh, I like most about this product is like when you're opening packs, like there's an element of enjoyment and fun that comes from it. This is by far the most rewarding pack of any set mm -hmm. of anything that you will ever open. And yeah, I just opened a bunch of the Pokemon celebrations and those are very exciting. This blows it out of the water. Definitely on a per pack basis, right? Cause you think about you buy a booster box of a regular set. There's right. gonna be a lot of packs that just right. don't wow you. Basically pulling yeah. an SR in every single pack. Yep. And then the pack cards that are not SRs, mm -hmm. like if you're just a collector and you just want to get the shiny cool stuff, and then you have friends that want to play, you just give them all the non-foils, and it's basically just core stuff to build, yep. like really, really- All the sparking the gates, sensu beans, all the all the key cards for yep. the most part. Yeah. Um, and again, uh, the ab ability for players to get really expensive cards. Uh, there's even a few more that I know are gonna be announced um, before the end of the preview season that haven't made it into yeah. the public view yet that people are gonna be really excited about. Yep. Now, I do want to clarify, while you do not always get two of the same in yeah, right. each one, um, you can do this. This is yeah. a real configuration that you can pull out of a pack. Right. So imagine you're a player, you want a couple of thwartings, you haven't been able to get them, they're too pricey, and you crack this in a $5 pack yep. of cards. Talk about jackpot. A couple months ago, you know? 300 bucks right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I got another pack to show you. Now, I believe this one actually has a card that hasn't been shown as a reprint yet in the non-foils. Oh, cool. So, well, Dimension Magic, the Trunks, Helping Blast. So excited about this one, by the way, getting yeah. a, a foil alt art treatment. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The Vegito Champ promo, Broly, Legends Dawning, can never have enough Broly. And then this was the card that I don't think had been shown oh, nice. yet online. The Piccolo Unison um, cool. the, from it the pre-release. Cool yeah. cool in the non-foil. Yeah. I haven't seen it in the non-foil. Yeah, again, you're a Piccolo fan. You're a, a collector who needs to have every version of everything. Like, yeah. it's great that now you've got another variant yeah, to collect. Yeah, really cool. I wonder if they're going to do each set. Maybe we'll see the Soul Striker. Maybe. That would be pretty that cool. That would be really cool. That would be super So here's your that. Goku KO Ken. Um, looks fairly similar to the uh, the SR version, yeah, yeah. Um, but you could tell there's like no gold anywhere right. in the titling They're or really anything pretty. like that. I mean, just really, really beautiful. Yep, cards. excellent. One thing that I've noticed about all these, this kind of the rare SR foiling, is that the white plating is really good. So that's where you know part of the art is left non-foil right. to make it really pop. Yeah, it's also called um, reverse hollow foil. So yep. it's basically like there's a white print under that mm -hmm. blocks out the holographic from behind. Exactly. So it really pops on these cards. You saw it on the Gogeta. Yeah. Um, you can see it here. Yeah, um, so them. even cards that it's not a terribly different look from their original version, um, it really does stand out in a different way now. Yeah, and, you, totally. and, you, and you can customize your deck with the version you want. Yeah. And maybe you get lucky enough to pull that. Yeah. So you know, looking. some people yeah. called out, I know this is the art from the Dokkan game, but man, Dokkan doesn't look like this in, in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, really awesome. Another great, very popular card. Yeah. You know, this card was 60 bucks at one point. Yeah, it was. And, and it, you it know. has some meta relevancy also, you know, it's, it is a useful mm -hmm. card that gets in there. Yep, and I know people are like, oh, it just was reprinted in the collector's box, but like those things are done. I don't see too many people excited to plunk down a couple hundred bucks to get pick one up, yeah. you, you know, these yeah. days. So, you know, 
If you didn't get a collector binder, now you can get this. Maybe you'll love this card. You love Goku, Evan Glover, what's up? Um, you know, and now you got another Goku to go after and yeah, get. Definitely. And I think, what, you know, I, I really like that they're doing the, uh, the gift collection and, you know, you can just buy sealed product if you want or just buy packs. Like, mm -hmm. it's going to be such a rewarding, fun set to open. And it's coming out around the holidays, we think. We don't have a confirmed date, but I'm yep. assuming somewhere around Christmas. December, January December, is what January, I'm hearing. And, you know, know. it would be a great opportunity, you know, if you have a friend that likes Dragon Ball and you want to share some insanely beautiful art with them, pick up one of these gift boxes and give it to them for holidays mm -hmm. and, uh, and yep and i think about being like a, a locals player right like yeah. i've gotten back into getting to be able to go to my locals every week mm -hmm. and you know as much as getting free stuff is always great you know coming in second third fourth place getting a pack or two of a set when we're already like a month into its yeah, release yeah. Yeah, and yeah, i've got everything I, I, right come on right. man i got the itch i already got bought everything yeah, that yeah. i need um and you know it could be a little underwhelming you know yeah. not very exciting but if i could say hey man can i get a pack of mythic booster i mean yeah. i could pull a thwarting i could pull an after image technique yeah, i could pull every, that that sick roshi that. power bur burst yeah, you know so, so cool. um and even the ones that are lesser like i'm not a huge fan of that koitsukai uh art yeah, that they use this time even just the original art in the parallel the foil. original art in the parallel oh, foil yeah. or Again, that card's gonna be highly sought after, right? So Absolutely. I cracked that pack of Mythic Booster. I got my level two Judge Koitsukais. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm good on those. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, that's, think that's about my locals or a trade or someone else is gonna want it. You bean, you know? Absolutely. You can never so. say no to a bean. No, no, you can, especially with that Senzuda. new art. <laughs> well, David, thanks for your time, man. Of course, man. Uh, thanks I for having it. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you have any questions about dental hygiene? Um, actually, we, we should talk, you know. Uh, well, I need to give a dental tooth test. So oh, okay. If you have a question, I'll answer your question. Absolutely. Um, what would you say is the biggest thing to watch out for when researching cosmetic dentistry as a, a customer? Interesting question. Most important thing to watch out for. I don't want to be taken advantage of, you know. I would say looking at a dentist credentials, um, looking and seeing if they have any of their work that's shown. Uh, if they do things digitally, digital is very important. You know, you can really design stuff a lot more accurately digitally. You want to avoid anything metal. Unless you're getting an implant, that's a different story. But if, if somebody pitches you a cosmetic case with what are called porcelain fused to metal crowns, beware. Stick to ceramic. Empress is a great material that is all ceramic, looks beautiful, but um, yeah, I would focus on digital and uh, stick with ceramic, all ceramic. Next time I see you, we should do a follow-up video. You can uh, tell Sounds me if I if I followed your instructions Sounds well. Good, man. <laughs> or you know, if you want to come to New Jersey and come to my Dragon Ball themed office. There we go, I, <laughs> man. If only I knew when I still lived in the Northeast. There, you know. Uh, well, anyway, man, thanks so much. Of really course, thanks for it. having me on. Yeah, dude. Uh, many more to come. Absolutely. And that has been the Joku Shoku tidbit of the Mythic Booster. Exciting. Maybe you might see a box of it get opened on this channel soon. Soon? I don't know. What? We'll have to wait for a message from Japan. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. guys. See you next time. Thanks, dude. Of course, man. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Definitely.